A number of years ago when I was a student at the seminary, I was guest preaching at my uncle's church. My uncle is a pastor and, and he was looking for someone to preach the sermon on one particular weekend and I said that I was available and I could preach the sermon and, and he was glad to take me in. He was there that day. He was leading the rest of the worship service and I was responsible just for preaching the sermon and I remember as we were standing in the, uh, the room just off to the side of the, the front of the church, getting ready to walk out as the service was about to begin. We're about to walk out, but before we do, my uncle turns to me and he says, Jeremy, he says, when I go out to preach, I sometimes like to picture Jesus himself walking out there with me. And as I'm preaching, I, I also like to picture Jesus himself standing right there with me, just smiling, giving his approval to what I'm doing so that I remember that I'm never really alone as I do these things. That God himself is right there with me. And I have no memory of how that sermon went that day. <laughs> I couldn't tell you if people loved it or didn't love it so much. But I do remember the very comforting feeling of being able to, that came from being able to hold on to that wonderful truth. That God was with me in that and God is with me in all things. And I do have the right to picture that. I'm telling you that today because Moses gave the Israelites a similar picture in Deuteronomy chapter 27 as he's telling them what they're supposed to do after they get into the promised land. He says, once you get into the promised land, I want you to take some stones and I want you to build an altar. And once you've built the altar, I want you to offer your sacrifices there. I want you to worship there rejoicing in the presence of the Lord your God. He reminded them too that God was right there with them. They were in the presence of God himself. And that was... <laughs> well, they had to write... They had the right to rejoice, to feel good because God was there with his love. God was there with his mercy and his grace. God was there smiling with perfect delight at, at his people. That was a good reminder for them. And it's a good reminder for us too. That you get to live each moment as if God himself is right there with you because he is. And maybe as a way to I'll picture like what's, what's that supposed to look like in my life? Maybe just imagine yourself being at the same wedding that Jesus was at, at Cana. Imagine yourself just looking at Jesus as he's delighting in his conversations that he's having with other people, delighting to, to be helpful in whatever way he could. Or picture yourself there in the boat with Jesus as the winds and the waves are getting a little bit too intense even for the professional fishermen. But then Jesus, he speaks to the storm and says, shh, be quiet. And it listens. And you realize that the God who can silence the storm, he's right there in the boat with you. And that's where he wants to be. There's no place that he'd rather be. Picture Jesus walking out on the water as you're afraid, but walking towards you to be with you, to tell you, you don't need to be afraid. It's going to be okay. Or picture yourself being there with Jesus at the grave of Lazarus. It's the one whose voice is powerful enough to raise the dead, speaks to Lazarus as he's dead. And Lazarus listens. <laughs> he gets up and he's no longer dead. Or picture yourself there with Jesus as he's hanging on a cross, as he looks in your direction. And you see with your own eyes that when he said that he loved you, He really meant it. He really meant it. I don't know which of those pictures is most encouraging for you today, but, but you have the right to picture all of them because that's what Jesus earned for you. The right for you to know that you are never alone, that God himself and all that he is and all that he does, he's right there with you giving you also the right to rejoice in his presence today and every day and also giving you the right tonight to rest well, knowing that he is with you there too, watching over you. So let's do that. <laughs> rest well tonight, my friends.